Hello friends, today my topic is Selenium into question and answer part 5. Friends, in this video, I will explain all the questions asked by IZT Interglobe Technology from one of my friend. So let's start. These are the questions asked by the IZT and these are very simple questions. Question 1. What is automation testing? Next, when we go for automation, how many scripts you run in a day? How many scripts you run till today? Which framework you use and why? Why we need to handle cookies in Selenium? What is the difference between find element and find elements? What are the advantages of automation testing? What are the different types of frameworks? Question 10. Explain how you can switch between frames. Question 11. What tool are you used for creating RESTful web services? The last question. Explain the factors that help you to decide about the style of web services to use SOAP or REST. So let's start. Question 1. What is automation testing? Friends, automation testing or test automation is a process of automating the manual process to test the application or system under test. Automation testing involves use to a separate testing tool which lets you create test script which can be executed repeatedly and doesn't require any manual intervention. Or in simple words, we can say that the process of converting the manual test cases to the test scripts by using any automation tool is known as automation. Question 2. When we go for automation? Friends, we go for automation when build is stable. Question 3. How many scripts you run in a day? Friends, when you face this type of question, be alert. Because by asking this type of question, interviewers just want to find it out that you have actually worked on automation or not. Never give the fixed answer like 20, 30, 50, etc. The correct answer for this is not fixed. It depends on different scenarios. Sometimes the count is 20, sometimes it counts in 2, 3 or sometimes it may be 1. It depends on the scenarios. Question 4. How many scripts you run till today? The answer of this question is totally depends on your experience. If somebody asks this question to me, then my answer will be more than 10,000 scripts. Question 5. Which framework you use and why? The answer of this question is also depends on your experience. Here the important point is that please don't waste your time to explain your current project. No one wants to hear about that. By asking this type of question, the interviewer wants to hear about the following things. The structure of your framework, which technology you use like Java, Python, etc. Which approach you use like hybrid, POM, etc. What you use to handle the files, what you use for reporting, what you use for the log, what are the different dependencies you use, why you use a particular framework, approach, etc. So you have to explain these things when somebody asks which framework you use and why. When we need to handle the cookies in Selenium? Why we need to handle the cookies in Selenium? Friends, we need to handle the cookies in Selenium due to the following reason. First, there could be the scenario specific to cookies which need to be automated and required validating entries in cookies file. Second, we can delete previous cookies of the browser to increase the speed of the execution. Third, when we test a web application using Selenium WebDriver, we may need to create, update or delete a cookies. Next, we can skip some scenarios like login to application for each test case if we create the load cookies file during automation as the same get handled by the cookies. This saves the overall test execution time. Next question. What is the difference between find elements and find elements? Friend, these are the three major difference between find element and find elements method. Find elements method is used to assess a single web element on the page. But on the other hand, find elements method returns the list of the all matching elements. Find element returns the first matching element, but find elements return the list of matching elements. Find elements throw no such element exception when it fails to find web element. But on the other hand, find elements 
return empty list when it fails to find web elements. Next, what are the advantages of automation testing? Friends, this is very simple question. It is free to open source. So many communities are there. You can use different browser, different platform, different language. Question 9. What are the different types of framework? Types of framework are unit testing framework, data driven framework, keyword driven framework, hybrid framework and POM page object framework. Question 10. Explain how you can switch between the frames. For example, on your screen there are few frames, 2, 3 or 4. Then you have to switch from 1 to 2nd, 2nd to 3rd or 3rd to 1. Then how you can switch? So friends, to switch between the frames, we can use switch to dot frame method. We can switch to a frame by using the following way. We can switch to a frame by index. The format will be switch to dot frame. Here you have to enter the index number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or switch to a frame by its name. Switch to dot frame. Here you have to pass the frame name. And switch to the frame by web element location. Here you have to find out the location. So these are the way by which you can switch between the frames. Question. What tools are used for creating RESTful web services? Friends, you can use following tools to, in testing for SOAP and RESTful web services. For manual testing, we can use SOAP UI tool, Poster for Firefox, the Postman extension for Chrome. But for the automation testing, we can use Selenium with REST Assure or Selenium with the HTTP client. Question 12. Explain the factors that help to decide about the style of web services to use SOAP or REST means you have to decide that you are just going to use REST or SOAP. On which factor it depends, what kind of web services you are just going to use. So the factors are, first, simplicity. REST based web services is preferred where simplicity is required. Scalability, REST based services is preferred where scalability is required. Multiple data format, so for the multiple data format, REST is best because it supports JSON, XML strings and so many things. Stateless. REST is best for the stateless operation as compared to SOAP. AJAX call. When we talk about AJAX call, REST based web service is preferred for data exposure. So, sorry, for data expose, REST based web service is preferred where we have to expose the data. Security. SOAP is favorable to use where service requires an advanced level of security and transitional liability. And the last point is bandwidth. REST based web service is preferred where low bandwidth is required because it uses JSON and JSON uses key value format to send the data. So friends, these are the questions asked by the IGT. I have explained all the questions and from here you can see that these 10 questions are from the Selenium and these two questions from the API testing. Nowadays, whenever you go for an interview, every, every interview asks the question related to the REST API, whether it is for SOAP or for the REST assured or by the Postman, something like that. So you have to prepare for these things also. Friends, there is a book available on the internet having name REST API Intro Question and Answer. Friends, if you like my video, please like it, comment it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. If you subscribe my channel and press the bell icon, then you will get the notification of the next video that I am going to upload on my channel. So friends, have a good day. Thank you so much.